1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Hey everyone, it's Wellens, and welcome to a preview of Pacific Drive. This is some kind of a road trip adventure where we only have one companion, our car. And it looks like there might be some supernatural spooky happenings. We'll have to see. The Olympic Peninsula, 1998. South of the barrier wall. Inside or outside? Outside. We want to go, I guess. Oh, we got to actually, like, control the car and all that. Does that mean I actually have to make an effort to stay on the right side of the road and all? <laughs> okay, I'll try. Just in case, if we bump into other people on the road. Which, at this point, uh, I don't know if that would be a good or bad thing, because they might be supernatural ghosts or something. There's a blocked off tunnel here. I guess we just keep going? Straight? Uh, it's not the best of days today, but there's some kind of sunlight. Could be much worse. Ew, there's some houses at the top of that. Or, oh no, that's probably the wall. Signaling where the wall is. It's raining. Hmm, since all the access points were closed off already for many years, doesn't make sense for anybody to come near. But if they really, really care about it, then they might have some people guarding the border. So if they see a car like me coming up, they might immediately be on guard. I don't know, it depends on what they're trying to hide inside. Some UFO top secret confidential government secrets or what else? The weather got so bad so quickly. See, because I'm also trying to drive at the same time, I can't look away for too long because I actually have to focus on the road. <laughs> Not even on the right side right now. It's okay, nobody's here, it's fine. It's fine, for now. Dang, these curves are curvy. Pacific Northwest, very foresty. Feels pretty lonely already, to be honest. We're making this trip on our own. Yeah, the whole place just doesn't feel like it's been in use for a while. If people have been using the road regularly, I guess you might expect stuff like garbage that people throw outside windows and all that. But nothing this whole time. Warning. Warning. High... Can't really read it. High R levels facility. Extreme caution advised. Further inquiries directed to some other place. R I, le R -I levels? Our levels? Oh, my car rolls even if I'm not putting my foot on the pedal. That's what happens in real life. Okay, that makes sense. We gotta be careful about that then.
Uh, is the radio okay? Oh my god. I think I have it on the radio right now, but it's not... Okay. Caution. Caution. Warning. It says warning. It's okay. It's getting foggier too. So we're... What was that? Are we trying to find an opening? At the border then? Do we know if there is an opening? Um... Um... What? 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 I thought the scary stuff would happen inside the border, but I, uh... Maybe let's just drive faster. How about that? Yeah, that, that sounds like a pretty good plan to me. Keep the headlights on. Just keep driving. Don't look around too much. Um, alright. The ride's a little bit bumpy and rough. Let's keep your eyes on the road. It's fine. Ha! Ah! My car's dead. Here's our opening, I guess. Oh, wow, what the heck? Get the safety, the Olympic exclusion zone. Whoa, where's my car? Did it just disintegrate? Okay, that. Oh, I. It actually might have. It's probably my wheel. Oh, okay. All right. If we were aiming to make some kind of a delivery, I don't think we're making it. Ah, uh, okay. Why is the place just glowing? Find transportation. The little noise we're hearing, is that like the radiation level noise? Caution. Caution? Should we be going here then? I, I don't know. It kind of sucked us in though. So clearly, even the, the fences, the borders don't really do that good of a job. But what are they... What are they guarding in here? Hello? Someone out there? Hello? Uh, what a swan, I... Uh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Hello? Hello? Uh, who said all that? Who said all that? Okay. Car was missing a wheel. I gave it a wheel. It's now fully functional. Hopefully. Oh, but oh damn, it's rusted over pretty bad. Um okay, alright. This is good, this is this is cool. It, it's fine. We're we're gonna be okay. We have a car. I know how to drive. I can drive even if it's not my own car. Oh, signal. Yes, it's back. It's back. 
This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. What? Is that the wind? It's like going horizontally. Uh, hello? Francis Tobias? Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? Are you talking to me through the radio? They don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they mean... They're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. Okay, east. I have a compass. I assume I'm going east, but I don't have a map, so it's not the greatest. They know where I am, though. There's some kind of a GPS on this, and they can pinpoint where I am. Okay, I... Oh. Yo. Siphon fuel. Okay, not enough... Not enough fuel on my little car. Okay. Um... <laughs> Maybe I want that one. Actually, that one's not looking much better either. <laughs> you have fuel... Okay, that's loud. Do you mind being a little bit quieter, please? I'm kind of freaked out right now. Fuel. Where the hell am I siphoning fuel from? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, um... Alright. Siphon fuel from the broken down car. Where's your little... Your little... Fuel slot. Oh, of course. Good thing they have this kind of equipment, huh? Yeah, they're being very loud about it. Alright, alright, let's go. Okay, good. Thanks. Malik HT, Washington, 1947. That's a while ago. That's like 50 years ago, isn't it? Can I get more fuel? I'm putting stuff in right now, but that car might have more, you know? Oh, that's it? Can I get more? <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe we should go soon. Maybe we really should go soon. Ah, uh, you know what? We- I- okay, 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 let, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Didn't even get to put the fuel can back in. In the back. Oh, oh yes. Drive, drive! Drive! Hello! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> we we have to turn on the engine and all that! Oh god, okay. Um, I am... Whoa, 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 wait, hold the phone. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Oh, kidding. What could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. Spectral? Uh, what, what, spectral what fingerprint? That is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'm killed to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the Breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. I'm the Breacher, I guess. I breached in. The remnant? The remnants of what? Um, I have a feeling we were very close to death. There. Ooh, okay. All right. Um, yeah. We don't want to be in the yellow generally. But if there is no other road, I don't think we have a choice. Find that shelter. Go on and let yourself in. 
probably ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. The zone does seem like it's about to eat me alive, you're right. Authorized personnel only restricted area. So I'm so sorry about your sign. I I am incredibly apologetic about everything that's happening. I am just I got more fuel. <laughs> Do you want fuel? Do you want fuel? Poppy's auto shop. Okay, can I just park here? Yeah, I but you know the weird thing is the stuff on me, it's not it's not blood. What is it? Uh I guess I'll put the fuel can back here. Huh. Hey, but I got some extra fuel. That can't be bad. Uh, hi. Is anyone here? What are we hearing? You hear that, right? Flip the breaker switch. If somebody's been here recently. Um. There's a backpack on the table. Ah, uh, who's there? Hi. Shop. God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God, my head. Uh, Sam, emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We've sent a breacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant. Which has taken the form of a car, and well, uh, oh. get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Uh, the car is a remnant. Like I said, super official zone business protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. <laughs> Ten years and seventeen volumes and. <sighs> That voice gets like a nail gun to the skull. So, another breach, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? I didn't Unless climb it. One of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Yes! Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Oh, God, unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Soft hands of mine. Do you have it a towel that I could wipe myself with? Oh, there's a Game Boy what? here. Oh, you need help? Well, there's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. Okay, thank you. Do you mind if I have your backpack? Thank you. You didn't say yes, but thank you. There is a mechanic's eye headset hanging by the map. Got a whole workshop here. Oh, it's gotta be this. Health critical. <laughs> Already. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Yeah, that might be... But I'm not bleeding though, is it? Because it looks like some kind of a yeah, spectral fingerprint or whatever they were saying before. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I feel great. I think. Put the wheel back on. Did the wheel come off again? Why does the wheel keep coming off? The sail, the sail. It's an auto shop. What the heck? Yeah, that's the same thing that was on the fuel can. There's some like goopy stuff going on here. This is locked. 
What does a log mean? I don't know. So you have other cars around here. Very cool. I guess I shouldn't touch much of anything. But I mean... I, I mean it very loosely when I say you have a car, because this is not a functioning car. <laughs> Do you mind if I look around? It's not raining anymore. Ooh, there's a lever. O okay, alright, you know what? I I'll just, uh... Maybe let's stick to the basics here. What? Why did the... <sighs> why did this come off again? It's the same wheel! Okay, the log... I don't know what the log means. Drive the car into the auto shop. Oh, from the other end then, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, should I fix this too? Oh, I just took the entire... Th okay, you know what? <laughs> put, put it back on, put it back on. Oh! There's a lot of buttons trying to figure out what they all do. See, there's E and there's hold E. Can I just put... The door back on. That not a thing. Ah, so I, I guess this car is completely modular, maybe? It's, it's not very alive, though, so we should be careful. It's gonna collapse soon. Okay, uh... And I, I remember, I remember, I can drive! Okay, okay. Hold up. So, oh. Oh, the radio is in a different spot here. I... can't exactly see. Should I be looking around to see what's behind me? I'm just gonna try to get into the auto shop without wrecking this person's shop entirely. I can pay you. I can... I swear. I can pay you in fuel after all this. I got some extra fuel from the broken down car earlier. <laughs> All right, we're good, we're good. We good? You happy? <sighs> we have to replace the crude door. Open headset OS. My backpack? Okay, I see, wow. Fix the car. That car of yours needs some attention. <laughs> I think every door needs to be replaced. <laughs> Delivery. Oh, so these were the previous quests. I see. Oppie's auto shop. Let yourself in and hope Oppie won't mind. Mm-hmm. We actually have a map of some kind. Where are we on it? I mean, we're here, but like, how does this look in relation to anything else? I don't know. Junctions. Stable junctions. Travel time. K-L-I-M for gateway. I There's a lot of things happening here. But... What I do know is that we probably want to fix our car before we do anything else. Logbook. Car abilities. Certain components and equipment that you will install on your car have abilities that need to be activated. Okay! My car can have abilities. I can steer the car, brake, reverse, shift between park or drive, and turn the ignition key, toggle the radio, headlights, wipers. You can honk! The auto shop is your base of operations, your savior, so you can take your time between drives to fix up the car, craft parts, and research new upgrades. We can walk around, jump, crouch, mm-hmm. All right, all right, cool. So log is maybe just the stuff that we did previously. Ah, this is uh, Tobias and Francis who are trying to help me out by forcing Oppie to help me out. Spectrometer? Spectral fingerprint? Okay, alright, alright, okay. L let's see, let's see. Ahem! <clears throat> crude door. Crude door needs sp- What? The help on the crude door looks pretty good though, I don't know, I mean... <laughs> it's... Yeah, we took it out. Took out the whole damn thing. Replace our car door. Should I just drop this? Yeah, the problem is, do I even have another door to replace it with? Oh, I can probably make a door in the blueprint section. Got distracted by literally everything else. Only a crude door? Okay, I, I guess that'll do. Uh, 
C. Oh, gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. So we needed like a uh, that list of stuff there. Scrap metal, plastic, duct tape, glass shards. Just gotta DIY it from some other pieces of scrap around here. Search the toolbox by the garage door for a pry bar. Can't even open this. Even though it's basically rusted metal. Mechanics kit. All the most essential items and equipment that allow a mechanic to do their job. You'll want a few of these on standby to handle engine or wheel trouble. Pry bar. It has a durability meter. And then duct tape. I'll take all of it. I'm guessing you don't need any of this. So now I have to equip this, equip the pry bar, and pry it open. Plastic. Road flare. Useful in a pinch. This powerful potassium-based incendiary burns bright and burns brief, even in the wettest of conditions. Only works if someone's around to help me though, right? Unless if I just want to scare off some creepy ghosts and stuff. Plastic. That was one of the stuff we needed. Good. Now, search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items you're unable to craft. Whoa. Scrapper. Okay. That's like... What is this? Part of a motorcycle or something? I got it, I got it. Scrap the abandoned car's wheels, panels, and doors. Wait. You mean... you mean this one? Oh, okay, I gotta use the scrapper here. What? Do I just... Um... Alright, alright, hold up, hold up. Is this not functioning right now? There's no battery, right? It looks like... That might be the case. Tear into anything and everything out there with this voracious homemade tool. Reduce items to raw materials in moments and walk away feeling mighty. Very high durability. How do I... How do I power it up? Friendly dumpster. Oh, these are descriptions of all the stuff we find. Yes, yes. Plastic, duct tape, road flare. Okay, cool. But right now, let's see. I can't use it, right? Oh, I can, I can. It's low battery, but I can still use it. Uh, am I supposed to just... Am I supposed to just... Are there even wheels on this anymore? Yeah, there are. There are. Oh, uh, we break it so that we can get the constituent parts. So now I can pick up all this stuff. I see. Even the door? Okay, if you say so. Oh, wow. We gotta break it down like that. Hey, but I feel like these wheels are probably better than the one I have right now. Shouldn't we be using these wheels instead? Maybe? Okay, I'll take all that, I'll take all that. Oh, you've got some fuel. I'm gonna steal your fuel. Thanks. Any anything else I can take? Not really, this is just... Oh, this door. Fantastic. Can I carry all this stuff? Okay. Oh, can I... No, these are all like a skeletal shell. There isn't even a door. Craft a crude door in the shop. Okay, let's see. So I have the stuff now. How do I actually craft it? Within the shop somewhere. At the table. Craft. Okay, I made one. I might need more than one. Is that enough for you? Install the crude door. 
Huh? <laughs> it still looks pretty crappy, but it's a nice crappy crude door, as opposed to this one. Um, I installed it. You also want to hold up? No! Whoa! 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 Don't don't scrap it. Don't scrap it. I just want to hold it. Inventory full. Let me hold this. Put this one back on. Okay, that... <laughs> These are all looking pretty crummy. That one had a steel door earlier. I feel like we should have taken the steel door instead, but... Oh well. There is repair putty here. Repair putty. When you don't have the time or the resources to perform extensive repairs. This is the spit and tape solution that will carry you through and fix up the worst of things. Spare tire. That would be useful. Thank you. Chemicals. First aid kit. That probably would be good too. Okay. Is there an auto sort? There's rearrange, but I don't think there's an auto sort that I can see. Items and secure risk of loss. What does that mean? Oh, the red stuff is not... Why? Why do you not like it? Why do you not like it? What's wrong with... Is there a weight limit or... Maybe I'll put this in here for now. Oh, it's too heavy, I think. I guess? Is there a weight? I don't see a weight here. Like, what happens if I... What happens if I just take it and then I... I go. Oh, okay. But I can pick it up. Yeah, if I pick it up, it seems like it's okay. What's the difference? I'm not sure. There's a lot going on in this UI so far. Like, there's a lot of little elements to look at. So I'm trying to, like, feel my way around it. But honestly, there's... Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna try this for now and see, uh... Inventory full. So, anyway, I, I came here for the repair putty. We'll worry about the rest of it later, okay? Repair putty is this one. I will equip it. Use the putty to repair the car. Structural parts. So, like... <laughs> I see. This this crude door is a new one that we made, so we can't repair it because it's already at maximum, even though it's crude. But the rest of it I can probably fix up. Slash it across. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what the warning is. Oh, it's basically completely dead. Okay. Yeah, that's how you fix cars. Wonderful. The bumper. Looking better already. The Even the headlight? <laughs> you can fix the headlight with the putty. There isn't even a headlight on this side. Okay, great. Anything else needs 90% structural integrity. There is no rear bumper. We don't even have a rear bumper. <laughs> so what else needs to be... The windshield? Oh, the wheel! The tire. Not good enough? No, there's four tires. Yeah. Oh, this was already the spare tire. <laughs> like that? Good enough? We're still sitting at 90%. Oh, this one. Beautiful. And I'm all out of putty. Scan the flat tire. Scan it. Uh, replace the flat by crafting and using a sealing kit. Or replace it with a spare tire in the locker. 
I guess we should try the crafting part because we haven't done it before. Whereas the, the spare tire, can I just sort of like dump it in the back or something? I'm actually not sure. Dumpster. Um... You want me to take this off first? You blew it! Truly the most anomalous of conditions that can befall a wheel, a gaping hole in the precious, precious rubber. <laughs> okay. This needs a sealing kit. A sealing kit. We have the stuff to make a sealing kit. So... Do I have to- I have to craft it here? But I'd be using resources. That's okay though, because I mean, we have to sometime, right? It's a sealing kit. Beautiful! Scan the loose wheel. Equip the mechanics kit. Okay, mechanics kit. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It's this one. Then we just fix it. Okay. But we still want to look in the dumpster for crucial items or something. It looks like. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Do you mind if I have a bigger look at this? Oh, this just spits up whatever I need, doesn't it? It's not a regular dumpster. Thank you for the putty. That's all it's got for me. This time, for now. <laughs> Cardboard boxes. Okay. Install craft mat in the trunk. Craft mat. So I can make stuff on the go. Oh. <clears throat> There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Arc device. What is it? If we press C, we can scan it and find out what it is. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. And then check it out. Riding shotgun with you is perhaps the most ramshackle and yet remarkable example of technology that you've ever seen. It can monitor the zone, ingest anchor energy, and casually teleport the entire car and all its contents a short distance. It may be a work of genius, it may be extremely illegal, stolen technology, or it may very well be both. Why not? Why not? Get first aid kits from the locker. Yes. So I'm still not sure why I couldn't carry that. Oh, maybe I'll put it here. So I can pick up the wheel too. How come I can't pick up the wheel? Why? Why is it... Okay, store items in your... For your drive? In the car trunk. Steel sheet. The putty can probably stay in the car, right? And this, the scrapper I might want to have on me, in case if I want to scrap anything. Okay, I think that makes sense. But the rest of this stuff? Probably let's try to keep most of it... ...in the car. It's just that if anything bad happens to the car, then we're kind of screwed. <laughs> Had to be a little bit careful about that. Okay, can I have that wheel? Thank you. Anything else in here? No. So this is me- yes, crafting on the go. Thank you, thank you. I will put two spare wheels. Two- no, 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 that two is the hotkey, never mind. How do I assign the hotkey? Pry bar is one. Scrapper is two. That works. First aid kit is what, three? Four. How many- how many can I do? Zero. Nine. 
I think only four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Just like how it says at the bottom there. Okay. Are we, are we like, good? Pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. Mm-hmm. How to make basic gear? Impact hammer blueprint. Pump. Yeah, free, free gas, right? Free for a price. Oh yeah. Can we fill up our little can in the back as well? Align the car with the charging station in the parking bay. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah, I want some on my... Okay, I can just charge it directly like this. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to steal it from the abandoned car. Fantastic. Put this back. And then aligning it with this. Is it aligned already? It is. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. This? Select destination using the map on the... Oh. Route planner. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the what? shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay, uh, instability. Maybe that's why in the beginning, when we were driving close, the ground started getting weird and stuff. So we're here right now. We can go here. Takes three hours. Kalim for gateway? Off you uh, go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Oh, okay. No pressure, I guess. Thank you for letting me stay. I truly appreciate it. I don't even have a bumper, but I guess that's something we'll worry about another day. Thank you. Thank you. My inventory... It's a little packed, but I think we're good. Can we rotate things? Maybe not. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Get on the road. Yeah, high R levels. That way. What's this? Abilities. Oh yeah, they mentioned the car can have abilities. Don't think we have any yet. Oh, arc device. <laughs> I feel like I'm so busy. I'm so busy. I've got so much to look at. We've just got to figure it out. What time is it right now? Is it night time? How far? They said it was three hours travel time. Yes. Atmospheric shifts, none. Gate stability, low. And then there's a bunch of icons detailing the conditions of our current stuff, I guess. Okay. JCT E5 radio station, residential damp forest outer zone. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. Yeah. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. 
The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay. I gotcha. I'm just gonna take a look at this. Oh, uh, we are... We're here. There's some kind of a town here. Why don't we start with the town? Pinpoint... Pin waypoint? Makes sense to me. Can I see it? And we've got to be careful not to randomly bump into things because that'll directly affect whether my car needs to be repaired or not. But, you know how earlier when we were trying to siphon fuel? If that happens again, I won't have time. The device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Is it okay if I park here? Not gonna turn off the engine, just in case if we need to get a- make a quick getaway. Okay, okay. Oh, that looks like a plasma generator to me! Don't make weird noises. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. I got the blueprint earlier. Impact hammer? I don't have the stuff to make it, but it might just be because I stored it in the car. I don't know yet. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. My favorite thing to hear. Can I... Oh, this is a health... It's a first aid station, I think. Hazmat cabinet. Do I have a... Can I have a flashlight? Look at you. Out in the zone, all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? <laughs> I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Is that a is that an unfortunate thing for you? <laughs> All right. Got a bunch of stuff. Was that enough for the impact hammer yet? No. We'll keep looking around. There's two plasma things here, and I can probably scrap this car too. Scan this car. Crude door. Can do this every time. Is this always the best move every time? The sounds are scaring me. Hey, but I'm getting stuff here. There's some fuel in this car. Truck interior. Canned food! That's pretty good. Is that it for this car? Maybe. Abandoned car? Yeah, recommended tool scrapper. Oh, this is pretty information dense. Every single thing we look at, there's something that we can scrap, or there's there's a um, codex entry for it and all that. What about this place? So this has this place has been abandoned for forever. Radio. I hope we can find an, a flashlight soon. Cause I can't really see around here. I'll take all that. I'm pressing T to transfer materials. Oh, gas cylinder! That's what I needed. Chemicals. Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. How can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. 
Well, I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car oh. are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. Oh. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks for filtering it for me. I believe I'm looking for gears. Have I picked up gears yet? Toolbox. I don't have enough space in my thing. There's a bulb. Yeah, the bulb could be good for us. Okay, I might have to make a separate trip back here. So I'm tied to this car. Is that related to why its wheel keeps coming off? <laughs> I, I don't know. Can I make the impact? Oh, it's raining. Are you kidding me? Chill, all right. Oh, the gear needs to be refined from scrap metal. I see. I didn't actually need the... There we go. Okay, so now we have an impact. Oh, raining is okay, right? Raining doesn't mean bad things will happen. It just means I'll get wet. Can you just put everything in for now? Like everything? The canned food doesn't go in. Wait, do I need to worry about my own hunger then? Is that what it's saying? Okay. Anyway, I've got the impact hammer. Where is it? Did I just put it in my... I made it. I made it. No. No. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. Impact hammer. I would like to... Oh! Alright, that's pretty good. We got it, we got it. And that's what we needed. We needed three. Uh, I'm just gonna go pick up the... the stuff again. There was some stuff I missed back here. Do I really not have a flashlight? Oh, there's a backpack here. With this shirt. I'll have it, I'll have it. Take the pry bar too, we never know when ours is gonna break. Okay, okay. So sometimes the log and the photo are checked, and then sometimes it's not for the backpack. Oh, I have to just keep scanning it if I want, um, I see. Supply containers, hazmat. Mm hmm. There's a lot of logs from God knows when, 1966? That's a long time ago. The fridge has nothing. Oh, what about this? I'll have that. Thank you. And that's it, it had one wheel. Do you have any wheels? Should I be taking your fuel? Maybe. Alright, got you, got you. And then I want to come back here with the impact hammer. There we go. I 
looks like you're near one of the old guerrilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Antenna tower up on a hill. Okay, do you mind giving me a second here? We have a lot of different things going on. I'd like to just store some of this. Maybe put away the impact hammer for now. We'll need one pry bar, not two. Okay. Oh, the scrapper's almost out of battery. And durability. I'm assuming the red print means battery. I'm actually not sure. Oh, the borders between the inventory spaces matter too. You can't put it on the border. Okay. Alright. Is that it for this part? I think so. Now, did you say something about logbook? Lower frequency? Something something? Lots of different... Oh! What was that? And this is just stuff that we heard already before. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm near one of the old guerrilla radio stations. We need to find antenna parts. She added it to my... map? Charge required. Here. Does that mean I should ignore the other spots on my map first then? There's a lot of different places here, but... We don't have to go to all of them. Okay, we can do that. They also recommend that I try to get materials so I can craft better versions of all the stuff I have right now. Oh, what's that? Do you want to look at that? I have a feeling it'll be a bad idea, but... That's just one of the... What the... Abductor. Letter fragment, date unknown. Dear Maggie, once again I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured it would be good to put the pen to paper. I hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly. But me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain what exactly happened, top secret things and all, but we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes, hanging 50 feet above the ground and right on a ridge. I'll send this as soon as we get back to barracks. And write you a much better letter after. But in the meantime, here's a picture. I sketched it out while we were waiting. If there's one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. Love always, Joe. Okay, this didn't say anything about what this is. Okay, cool, bye. <laughs> I'm like ducking. Oh, it's following. It's still here. It's still here. Oh, whoa! what the hell? Okay, we're expediting our mission to go to the antenna parts because I, I don't care. That thing is still following us. Gas overlook. Okay, cool. How's my gas looking? I don't care. Wait, they're pretty common! Aren't they? Okay, we wanna... If we go to the road on the side, it doesn't actually cut through, so we have to keep going... Oh, okay, alright! Okay! 
Let's just make this quick, okay? Um. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I think I might know why it's called the abductor now. You see, it was trying to get me with a magnetic clip. No wonder all the cars here don't work. Um. Oh, I thought there was a people there. Um. What the? S excuse me, coming through? Okay, that was weird. That was weird. I think we should just get the antenna, parts, and GTFO. Okay, those are pretty... That thing... It's got some, like, metallic components and stuff. Let's try to stay away from it. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Oh. My. God. Just follow the arc. Follow the arc. Oh, there may be someone above my head right now. I, I can kind of feel their presence. Above my head. But we are where we need to be. What the? What was happening behind us? Did you see that? Okay, there's a there's a split off road here that winds back. I'll go here. We gotta try to not hit stuff, cause otherwise we're gonna <laughs> our car's gonna break down. Hey, T Tobias? Francis? Ophelia? Anyone wanna just keep me company? Okay. Alright. I'm okay now. I feel minorly better. Am I- am I there yet? I think I'm almost at the radio tower. I need the antenna so I can- What did she say again? Something about figuring out where the stable areas are? That would be good. Cause I thought- I, I don't know if we're safe right now. It definitely doesn't feel that way, does it? Okay. Does it waste gas if I just park it and I don't turn off the engine? It might- Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on in this place. Why does that sound like a dog barking? Can I go in? What am I scanning? Birds. How's it looking up here? Yeah, those plasma things come by pretty quickly. Are those abductor things a reason for why there's no cars at work around here? What the hell? Oh, those are just garbage bags? Okay... Broadcast transmitter. I don't see a way to get in- oh. That's a... there's a ladder here. That I can't go up on. Is there a way for me to do anything about this? Oh yes, the big red button. That probably would be a good start. Harvested from an old radio station, this broadcast transmitter has been tuned specifically to work within the zone. It will be mine now, thank you. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. 
It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Limb. Return to the auto shop. Use the arc device map to locate and drive to an anchor site. And an the closest one. Well, this is a uh, this is blocked off. I'm not going back the way I came from. All right. Mm, maybe this one then. This one's big and easy to get to. Maybe. I might be able to just you know like go here if I don't follow the road. But not following the road means my car is gonna break down. Probably. So let's follow the road. My car is looking okay, I think. Are the car doors open and stuff? No, we're looking good? Okay. Alright, we'll just, uh... You know, maybe I can go down a little bit from here. A car's not that fragile, right? You can go down a little bit of a hill. In that case, maybe it's better to go to the smaller circle. Because it's closer. Like, look, I, I keep thinking, the way you're helping our friend here right now, seems positively helpful. I, seems like me, you're looking to turn a new leaf or something. The only thing I want to look at is a 12-year-old whiskey. And the back of this breacher's head when I send them packing. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny what the hell? test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you've <laughs> lost your touch? What I'm understanding is that you won't shut the hell up until I test this remnant. <laughs> yep. Fine. Stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait. Really? Arpy, darling, you never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis? Uh, yes. How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> 80 years old and only getting sharper by the day. You're a legend. You're a role model. I'm giving you 10 seconds to get out of my... Okay, okay. Uh, we're signing off. Hey, driver, good luck out there. Uh, uh, watch out for the bunnies. They are a doozy. I just saw some plasma stuff and I felt a little bit greedy. Do you mind if I spend a sec here to try to get the plasma stuff if I can? While, you know, before the crap hits the fan and all that, you know? Hold up, I gotta... I gotta equip the thing. With the broadcast transmitter, what do I do with it? What do I do with it? My understanding is that whenever we open the... Inventory and stuff, we're not actually paused. Stuff is still moving in the back, so we probably want to make it fast. Okay, this thing has been shocking me. Thank you. What anomaly? Where? Oh, the spark tower itself is an anomaly. Oh. Private field notes, Dr. Everett, date unknown. Plasma-powered spark transmitters combining previously obsolete coils with LIM-enhanced repeaters have proven to be the best way to boost signals throughout the zone. The constant increase in radiation and electromagnetic interference has made radio communication extremely difficult and often subject to bizarre distortions. These new modified coils appear to have solved that. The addition of local plasma power sources is a reliable way to keep each node within this vital infrastructure both operational and independent. However, the price we have to pay is constant maintenance and repair. They're demanding beasts and burn through components rapidly. If key resistors and capacitors are not regularly replaced, they quickly develop a habit of either shorting or even releasing a constant high voltage, low current discharges into the immediate vicinity. It's an anomaly. Yes. Anyway, I was hoping you'd give me all your plasma and stuff. I'm hoping to make use of all this once we go back. We'll upgrade our... our car that we're bound to, apparently, by now. And things will be grand. Yeah? Does that mean I killed this guy? This thing? Oh, our car's still looking pretty good. 
I think. It could look worse, okay? It could look much worse. So I'm gonna go into... I need to charge the arc device. I'm sorry, I'm wrecking my car. Wrecking my car in the woods. Sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry, car. Should we name you? Do you have a name already? Oh. Okay. I feel like my car is leaning towards that way a little bit. Oh, my wheel is off again. No wonder. What the hell? Is my wheel gone? What the hell happened to my wheel? It's gone! Where'd the wheel go? When did the wheel fall off? I think is a bigger... Bigger thing. When? What the hell? Why does that one wheel keep falling off? Good thing I have a spare one. Oh, so that's why earlier it didn't work. Because the lines... There were lines in the inventory that I wasn't adhering to. I think that's why. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, I don't know where the hell my wheel... When did I even... The wipers are still on. <laughs> that is so much to worry about! Hold up! Hold up! The wipers are... Yes. So this... I need you to... Charge my arc device. Right? Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. Recently. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Stable anchor. Whoa! Beat the anchor into the arc device. I'm holding a nuclear ball of something. How do I feed it into you? I might have to go out. Uh, am I dying just by holding this? I'm... Uh, R? device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you are absolutely ready to leave. I think I'm you ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. I would like to leave. I would like to leave. What is the... the hell? Tourist. Can I read about the tourist first? Dictaphone recording. Office of Dr. Richard Preble. Circa 1976. Hi, Christina, hi. How are you? So, um, it turns out you were right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and, um, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the road, on top of signs. One report here says on a roof. We've spotted about 600 now. The file catalogs each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about the other thing, too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. So, um, I'm gonna be applying for a position in Portland now. I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here, for sure, but I'm not sure I want to continue working at Arda full-time, you know? It's, um, it's very strange here. You work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing very important work, and I respect that greatly, but I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh god, there's one of them outside. I know for a fact I wasn't there before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this wasn't here when I moved the car here. I think we should go. We should go. Let's, let's go. <laughs> Granted, no one has really tried attacking me yet directly, except for the abductor. But uh, I don't want to chance it. So how do I... How do I GTFO? How do I GTFO? I'd like to GTF... Oh. Here? Link gateway. Drive. Drive. Drive into it. 
Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. They're all in the forest. They're not on the roads. I have to drive in the forest and hope I don't run into a tree and my car is... Can you not give me the gigantic letter saying to drive? You're making me nervous. You're making me more nervous than I have to be. <gasps> I just gotta... Wait, that's up on a hill. How am I getting up on that hill? How am I getting up on that hill? Oh dear. I am trying very hard to drive right now. My car is not going. Okay, buddy. This car can't even drive up the gentlest of slopes. It is a piece of stinking trash. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that, okay? I was just saying. I, I love you, I love you. I love you. Please love me back. I am begging you. I am hoping you love me. As much as I love you. As much as I love you. I love you very much. Like no other. We're peas in a pod, best friends until the end of time. <sighs> Any later, and I think we would have been oh, dead well, meat. Well. You're alive. We're certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, there have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, that was kind of a lot. I'm still kind of trying to understand what happened to us, what, what is going on. Um, it's kind of like a little bit like control or like some SPC stuff, I guess. The stuff that we were seeing, the sparking tower and those weird mannequins and the abductor thingamabob. Just anomalies. Anomalies happening around here. Oh. Oh yeah, we want we want some gas, please. Is it free? Okay, so that trip, I barely stopped. In fact, I didn't. I didn't really stop in any of the stops along the way. But we, um, yeah, we, we got, kind of got through with the amount of gas we had. Okay, we, need, we have an impact hammer. We already have one. Oh, so the, what I'm seeing right now is that the hotkeys don't really stay because you, you kind of switch between these items here. Hold up. Do you mind if I, sorry. I'm just gonna break it open on the other side too. Oh, can I break open this? This one? Maybe not this one. Okay, th no. The impact hammer is dying every time I do that too. That's not good. What's this door? Oh. I mean, sure? Sure. Might as well. Okay. Vargas vacuums. Oppie's Numa tube. Yes, yes. There's there's so much going on. Hold up, okay? Let me just try to process what is happening. Handbrake. 
My handbrake and brake? You're giving me a new handbrake? There's a hand vac, repair putty, scrap metal, canned food, rubber, crude panel, crude. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. All right. Let's make an antenna. Scanning antenna. Cobbled together using equipment from Oppie's vault and scavenged spare parts. This will sweep the zone to detect pockets of instability. I need broadcast transmitter. I have one. I have some plasma. I've got some scrap metal. Please make it. Oh, wow. Cool. It's a scanning antenna kit. A brand new part of your garage just waiting to be installed. What's the hold up? I need this antenna on the roof of my... On the roof of the building! Of the building? I thought we were installing this on the car. How do I get on the roof? Okie dokie. By the way, where are the rest of you guys? Where is Oppie? What? Oh, damn. Damn. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Car maintenance. Handbrake? You want a handbrake? Okie dokie. This is still locked. Door. Fix impact hammer. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, this was the other door, right? Right. Hand... Oh, I can't even carry that. So, is there not an auto sort button? There's a rearrange, you can rearrange it, but... Oh, oh, oh. Wait. I can equip it. Okay, equipping is different. So this is on my hand. This is in my backpack. So I can't put- I can't fit this in my backpack, but I can hold it on my hand. Which doesn't put it into any of the quick slots. One, two, three, four. It's not there. You can see. Engine bay. Wait, you mean like under the hood? Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Am I going back out already? Hold up. Do I want to like fix this? Were you taking it out? Oh, don't take it out. I just wanted to look at it. Can we fix that that little bit of hell? Oh, we probably want another tire before we go out too. Oh. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Cargo trunk. Free cargo trunk. It's mine now. What did we just get? Driver's checklist. Use cargo trunk to unload collected materials. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape. More or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Okay, I think we can call it a wrap here for our preview. I ended up spending like the next 20 minutes still fiddling with my car, so we don't need to go through all that. So far, I feel like this is a little bit of a slow starter because we spent a lot of time learning the core mechanics of how to fiddle with our car and stuff. But what we saw of when we were actually driving, all the weird stuff, I am really into it. It's just so eerie and I feel like we were only just beginning to really peek into what was going on here. The lady still never explained to me. Nobody explained to me what the hell is going on in the zone so far. And I'm, I'm very curious about it. What, what happened that made the place like this? Did we tap into some alternate dimension or what's going on here? In particular, I'm most interested in why why does the left 
front wheel on my car always come off? <laughs> Why is it always that one side, that one wheel? Weird, is that some paranormal thing? And we're bound to the car now, but what does that really mean? Are we... is it gonna start talking to me? Is it gonna become sentient? Not sure on any of these points yet. So I'm very interested in the narrative here. By the end of this, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I definitely want to find out more about what's going on. I think the biggest thing that I see being a bit of um obstacle so far is probably the um, HUD and the UI. I feel like in general, um, it's very... Even when we open the menus and stuff, everything gets very, very busy. And I'm not sure if it's that level of busyness isn't really warranted. It just seems like there's so much scattered information on the screen whenever I'm looking around. I think they probably want to go for a cyber robotic sci-fi sort of feel with the, the overall theming. But yeah, I the small fonts plus just overall there being so much information and the icons. They made use of a lot of icons as shorthands for functions that I think they probably thought were very intuitive, but when you have them all in a row like that, I found it more overwhelming than helpful. In fact, I feel like if they just had a small word, the actual word of what the function is, like scan or remove, that would have made it simpler to follow for me. That being said, I also feel like this kind of thing is, it's a matter of getting used to it. <laughs> no matter how difficult or easy a UI is to use, you'll get used to it if you see it long enough. So not my biggest concern in terms of like, you know, judging the overall quality of how this game would be. In short, am I interested in the narrative? Yes, yes I am. I'm curious to see what the hell is really going on here. The, this is a preview, and the full version of Pacific Drive releases on February 22nd, I believe. So about a little bit over a month. Yeah, let me know what you thought about this, and maybe we can check out the full version once it releases too. Alright, this was Wellens with a preview of Pacific Drive. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I'll see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!